here at Photokina 2012 uh, at the Fuji booth talking to Mr. Aida Lo, uh, the operation manager for uh, Fujifilm. Um, basically, we have a few questions about the new products that no you have here on the booth. Uh, let's start with the new, uh, the, the X-Series, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a bit about uh, the um, uh, branding? It's a new branding for uh, Fujifilm, mm -hmm. maybe a bit about the history of the branding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all the history, uh, the back in the uh, last Fotokina, uh, 2010, I think. Uh, that show, uh, we demonstrated uh, uh, one very early prototype of X100. And uh, that is, you know, uh, we test the, how much the customers uh, are looking for, the real photographic, high-quality, compact camera. Uh, because at that, that point, uh, we couldn't find uh, any uh, the cameras to match that uh, uh, level of the uh, DSLR quality. Mm. So uh, we were amazed uh, with the reaction or feedback from the customer. So we then go ahead the development and uh, we introduced March last year. And uh, since that time, uh, uh, we have sold over 120,000 pieces the globally. Uh, that was more than we expected. And uh, six, uh, uh, we think you know, it be improved uh, that there are so many customers, so many photographers uh, appreciating uh, the quality, the compact camera. Okay. Um, the new X Trans uh, sensor, which you uh, technology basically mm -hmm. that you introduced with the Fujifilm uh, X Pro One, mm -hmm. and now with the X uh, E One mm -hmm. that you just introduced for Fotokina. Mm -hmm. uh, you, in this uh, sensor technology, you basically got rid of the low-pass filter. Mm -hmm. uh, and to do that, you use the, a sensor which doesn't use the buyer array. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can a bit explain a bit about how, this, uh, how, you, how your sensor actually works mm -hmm. without the buyer array. Okay. Uh, can I show you? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, six months ago, uh, I think uh, at the CS show uh, okay. this year, we announced the uh, X-Pro1, and at uh, that point, uh, we really like to redefine the mirrorless system camera. Uh, before the X-Pro1, everybody believed the mirrorless system is uh, something inferior to the digital SLR in terms of the image quality yes. or the speed, or everybody believed at uh, that point, uh, mirrorless system camera cannot have the good quality viewfinder. So we really wanted to the beat or dismissed such kind, that kind of the long perception. So uh, first thing we are really uh, focused in is the uh, image quality. So how can we get the, the good image quality? And uh, even as good as a full frame SLR image quality mm. uh, done by APS-C sensor. Mm. So uh, first thing is the uh, resolution. Because, because you know, uh, sensor size will be the APS, which is a little bit smaller than the full size SLR. Yes. Uh, however, uh, we found the resolution could be the better uh, by eliminating or deleting uh, so-called the low-pass filter. Low-pass filter is uh, uh, all other uh, camera manufacturers need that low-pass filter because uh, uh, because of the uh, simple Bayer array filter, uh, any sensors can cause uh, uh, the problem cause uh, more, right? If you take uh, the pictures, uh, the uh, single pattern, the check. Uh, you get uh, you sometimes you get uh, very funny colors so uh, to eliminate that uh, kind of problem uh, all manufacturers need to put a uh, uh, so-called uh, low pass filter downside by doing that is uh, reducing the resolution although you have a high resolution or uh, the big sensor uh, having that low pass filter uh, reduce the output resolution so uh, we decided to remove eliminate the low pass filter uh, but you know, or instead of uh, uh, no, uh, by eliminating, but uh, we are putting uh, very uniquely allayed uh, filter. So Bayer filter is a uh, no, simple RGGB. So our filter is more complicated, uh, six by six, not simply two by two. So uh, together with uh, uh, that color filter, uh, we developed a processor to process that complicated information. Uh, to process quickly. So uh, it's combination, no low pass filter, and the unique filter array, and our processing technologies mm. that combined together, uh, we could manage to deliver the X-Pro1. Okay, so this is what makes the high quality image? That yes. Okay. 
Um, a different question, basically, who do you think that these cameras, the XE1 and mm -hmm. the X-Pro1, mm -hmm. uh, who is the target audience for these type of cameras? Yes, uh, when we introduced X-Pro1, uh, because uh, we focused at the highest image quality, and uh, we put a uniquely designed hybrid viewfinder and a solid magnesium body, and we put the highest quality, uh, resolution of LCD panel. So everything is a top quality. And uh, on the other hand, the price was a, a little bit pricey. Uh, in US, we introduced the price at uh, 1700 US dollar, body only. So uh, at the beginning, uh, we targeted top end photographer, mm. uh, maybe as a, the, the sub camera or second camera to be used. Yes. Or, or photo journalist uh, type customers and or uh, the, the street photographers. Those are the uh, customers uh, we primarily targeted. But uh, XE1, because of the more affordable price, uh, 1,000 US dollar body only, and uh, smaller and the lighter body, now we are targeting more, much more wider audience. Mm. But uh, still, you know, that positioning, uh, that XE1 uh, positioned as a still, you know, as a top level of the mirrorless system camera. Yes. So the still photo enthusiast and uh, people love the the quality, but uh, still people still need uh, something small. So I think the high end, high, high end enthusiast is uh, still the uh, target person. Okay. Um, now, one of the issues that we faced when we tested the X Pro One was the auto focusing speed. Mm -hmm. Now, you addressed that uh, at the new firmware version, the 2.0 mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. firmware. What actually did you do in the in the firmware version that improved this uh, speed? Okay. So. Uh, Soon after uh, we introduced x -Pro One, uh, customer said, very high quality, very good uh, hybrid viewfinder, but x -Pro One can be more responsible, uh, get, can be faster. So we immediately feed back to our uh, R&D engineering mm -hmm. team, and uh, they started the development, how mm -hmm. to fix that problem. Uh, and uh, they found some room mm -hmm. uh, there uh, by fixing by firmware. Mm -hmm. So uh, they we looked at uh, all the algorithm process uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, autofocusing mechanism. So uh, they found the way to improve the uh, autofocusing speed. Mm -hmm. And uh, with new version of firmware, uh, which uh, available already, uh, version 2.00, X-Pro1 uh, gets faster by 40% mm -hmm. in terms of autofocusing. So I think that they've done a great job. Okay. Um, another uh, question from a different angle. Uh, are you thinking about improving the uh, focusing system maybe um, in future models do phase detection uh, system for focusing which will be even faster than what you have now? Yes, uh, I think I you know. Uh, not, ma not many people know that Fujifilm is the first company to uh, introduce phase detection. Oh, really? uh, yes, the sensor. Uh, when introduced uh, uh, the model name called the F300. I think uh, it's a compact camera. Compact right? camera, yeah. yes, yes. Smaller sensor, uh, but uh, we introduced uh, for first time ever uh, face detection technology. So we do have the technology mm. at the in our company, and uh, we noticed uh, some other brands started in, in, uh, started introducing that technology. So we're always looking at the opportunity to improve the performance of the camera. So maybe in the future, something like that. Maybe. OK. Um, a different question. Um, currently, your uh, lenses are, uh, the manual focus on the lenses is fly-by-wire and not regular uh, manual lenses. Um, why is that? Yes, uh, the reason why, you know, uh, the manual focusing the operated or working the electronically, the, the two reasons. Mm -hmm. One is, you know, by doing that, uh, we can the, the design the whole the, uh, lens body compact and smaller. Ah, it's smaller. Okay. okay. Oh, that's an, one reason. The other reason is, you know, by doing that, the uh, more uh, precise information mm. will be communicated the, between the lens and the body. And the body. Right. Okay. I understand. 
Um, currently, you have uh, five lenses, the 35 millimeter, 60, mm -hmm. 18, 18 to 55, and 14 mm -hmm. millimeter, mm -hmm. which are the two last ones mm -hmm. I knew. Um, what other lenses are we going to see? And maybe are we going to see a long, uh, rather long uh, portrait lens, I don't know, 135 millimeter, fast lens, mm -hmm. something like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so currently, we have the three fixed lens at the beginning, uh, which is 80 millimeters, 35 millimeters, and 60 millimeters on the APS format. And uh, in June, uh, we announced a future roadmap. And uh, at the moment, we are committed to the up to 10 lenses mm. by next year. And uh, this Potokina, uh, we announced, we introduced uh, two lenses. One with zoom lens, the other one is a 40 millimeters super wide angle. So O5 is already on the roadmap, already on the, you know, uh, our, the information. And uh, actually, at the booth of the Fotokina uh, Fuji stand, uh, we displaying all the mock-up for the ah. future mock-up. Ah, for the future yes, models? Yes, ah, maybe okay. you can capture it. Yes, yes. We, we shall uh, take yeah, some pictures that, yeah, afterwards. That's including oh. the, the telephoto zoom and the uh, pancake lens or uh, the bright 23 meters, the fixed lens, and so on. OK, that's good. Um, all the bodies, the current bodies, the XE1 and the X-Pro1 are rangefinder style mm -hmm. cameras. Are you looking at other um, uh, bodies, types of bodies, maybe DSLR type or something which is larger? Yes, uh, I think you know, at the moment, uh, almost you know, back to photography, the approach uh, we're taking mm -hmm. and uh, the customer do appreciate the style of the X100 True. and uh, as X3 is like an X10. So, uh, now we, st we are sticking to the, this style because of this style that gives the, the, the photographers a uh, lot of the, you know, the, the freedom to operate the dial and uh, you know, looking through the viewfinder and so on. But in the future, I think that we, have, uh, we will be looking at uh, the, any possibility. Okay.